So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance. Hello friends, compatriots, comrades, and peers. This little presentation is titled Mean, Meaner, and Meanest by the Dog. Well, what do you know? We have a population and a sample, and you will recall that the population is the universe of all items of interest, and a sample is a subset of the population. You're learning, you're going to get it. Now, we love both the population and the sample. We have a population mean, and the population mean is the average of the population data, and the sample mean is the average of the sample data. So now we have two means, and how do we tell them apart? Which which is which? Pretty interesting question. Well, I'll bet this slide scared the bejesus out of you. The population mean is the average of the population data and is represented by the following formula. Now look at this thing. Mu is equal to the sum of all x's beginning from the first one to the nth one, where n is the number of the data, divided by the number of data. Woo! Dog is. That's a good one. Well, let's see if we can unravel that. Mu stands for the sample mean. You see that little squiggle thing there? That's a Greek letter mu. We nerds use a lot of Greek letters because we want to keep the non-nerds from being able to survive in this, uh, in this environment. That big little squiggly sideways M there is the Greek letter capital sigma, which means sum of. That means that the sample mean mu is equal to the sum of, and that one down at the bottom and the N at top, N is the number of data. So that means that we're going to add up all the data from the first to the last one. And X, that capital X, stands for each little datum value. Remember, datum is singular, data is plural. So mu is equal to the sum of all the datum divided by the number of data. That sounds a lot easier, doesn't it? Let me say that again. Mu is the sum of all data points or datum divided by the number of data. That formula is not that bad. Now, to put it in good old East Texas simple words, add them up and divide them by the number you have. Almost sounds like we could do that to the theme of rawhide. Add them up, add them up, add them up, add them up, and divide them by the number you have. I won't quit my day job. In case you thought that formula was really bad, cows have been doing statistics for a long time. Notice the Holstein on the left going, moo, moo, moo. And they're really intelligent creatures, been trying to communicate with us for years. Unfortunately for them, we live in a mathematically illiterate society. We had a population mean, or the average of the population data. We also have a sample mean. The sample mean is the average of the sample data. It is represented by an X with a line across the top of it. That is pronounced X bar. X bar stands for the sample mean. Now what this says here is X bar is equal to add up all the individual data points and divide them by the number in the sample. X bar is the sample mean. Again, that sideways M or sigma means sum of. Lowercase n is the number of data in the sample. 1 to n means from the first to the last. X stands for each individual datum value. X bar is the sum of all data points divided by the number of data. Well, we'll put that in simple words again. Add them up and divide them by the number of you have. At, uh, based on popular request, I will not sing. Now look at what you've learned. We have a population, and the population has a mean, which is represented by the Greek letter mu. The sample is part of the population, and the sample also has a mean, which is represented by x bar. Mu, the population mean, and x bar, the sample mean, are called descriptive statistics because they describe conditions of the population or they describe conditions of the sample. Man, you're getting good at this.